everyone, this is Fortnite from Super User Project IO. Today we are going to be taking a look at Manjaro Arm KDE Plasma on the Raspberry Pi. Let's get right to the video. So this is the operating system installed here on my Raspberry Pi. And so if we go to the system monitor, we can see our system load right here. So what I am most interested in is the RAM usage. So we can see we're about a half a gigabyte right here, which I think is pretty good for, you know, a fresh boot and everything like that. Because if you take a look at, say, Ubuntu or something with the GNOME desktop environment, it can be more than that. And KDE is a very nice desktop environment. And so the fact that it is only using a half a gigabyte of RAM is very impressive. And it seems like, you know, a good desktop environment for the Raspberry Pi if you don't want something, you know, super lightweight. But if we close out of that, we can finish checking out the operating system right here. So this is based on Arch Linux. And so, so I have, you know, the Pac-Man package manager and everything that Arch has like that. And so it's also got like a rolling release schedule. And so it's not like the Ubuntu releases or something like that. It's like it's constantly being updated and everything like that, of course. There are other operating systems, you know, that are kind of like that, but they kind of have their releases too. Anyway, so this has gotten some improvements recently with the setup screen and stuff like that. And I think it's just a very nice operating system on the Raspberry Pi and it also performs pretty good. So if we head over to my channel right here, we can test out some video playback on this operating system. So if we play this video here, we can see we are struggling a little bit right here, but let's try lowering the resolution. So it's kind of, you know, it's dropping some frames here and there, and it is not the smoothest. So I think if you want an operating system for video playback, you should probably check out Fido S or something. But this operating system for general usage is pretty good. So let's head over to my blog. So this is my blog right here. You should definitely check that out. But, you know, I think for general usage, it's good. And then also, you know, the features of this operating system are very nice and there's also an app called KDE Connect and if you have an Android phone you can connect that to this operating system and like get the notifications and stuff I think and then maybe even your photo library. So that's another advantage of having the KDE Plasma desktop environment. So I think as far as performance goes, this operating system for general usage is pretty good but if you're playing video you may want to look at something else. And then another thing on this is you can easily switch the kernel. I haven't really played around with that at all, but you can do that pretty easily. There's an option in settings. Not exactly sure where it is, but anyway, you can check that out if you like. And so overall, I think this is a pretty good operating system. If you want to, you know, get into some of the other desktop environments such as KDE Plasma. If you want something with KDE Plasma for the Raspberry Pi, this is probably the best way to go. And so until next time, we will see you next time. Subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video. And until next time.